Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I made two sets of Valentine's Day nails using the McCart Awesome Collection Poly Gel Starter Kit. This is what you get in the kit. You get these three poly gels, a slip solution, base coat and top coat. Beneath that you have some nail forms the poly gel tool with the spatula on one end and the brush on the other. And a nail file. And this is a really good nail file. So I'm gonna swatch these colors for you guys. So I'm gonna start off by prepping my nails and priming them with the Kiera Sky Prep and Primer. So I have never used nail forms today. So let's just see what happens. I already know what happens, but I can't wait for you all to see. Now that I've sized them all out, let me get my slip solution. And before I get started, I want to dampen the brush. I don't know if you call it dampening or not, but I wanna make sure that the brush isn't stiff. Now I'm going to apply base coat to my natural nails. and cure that for 60 seconds. Starting with my first nail, I think this is the thumb, I'm just gonna squeeze a good amount of products into the nail form. Dual form, I am so sorry. <laughs> squeeze a good amount of product into the dual form, my bad. I'm gonna dampen my brush and pat down the product into a smooth, nail if you will in the dual form making sure it's going covering the entire nail form because I want these to be kind of long I want to see what these nail forms can really do and continue to dampen the brush to make sure that the product doesn't stick to it From the videos I watch, I know to make the cuticle area not as thick as the rest of the nail, just so you don't have product oozing out. And then I press that in place and cure under my lamp for 60 seconds. Now, pop that sucker off. Okay, that's, that's a nail there. That's a nail. Pop this last one off. I'm going to wipe them all off with alcohol to get the sticky layer off. These are long <laughs> and so curved. I saw it with the first nail, but to have them all on, they are like talons. there we are they're kind of cute I love this nudie pink color I feel like a super villain so now it is time to file one thing I love about poly gel is how easy they are 
to file. It's so soft. It just files like a dream. But I have a lot of filing to do because this shape was all over the place. So let me get to work. I dust them off with my little brush. Get all the dust off my fingers. And here we have it. I also filed the shine off of the top as well. Now these are all the products I'm going to use to decorate my nails for Valentine's Day. So let's get started. Well, before I get started, let me put some more alcohol on my nails just to get rid of any extra dust because I do have some metallic polish and if there is any dust or anything on my nails, it is going to show. So I'm starting off base coating all of my nails, all of my super long talons, and cure them in the lamp for 60 seconds. I've listed everything that I've used here in the description box below. So let's watch me work.
So my camera died before I could show you how I did that last, how I did my ring finger and the stones, but you'll see them in a second. I'm adding my cuticle oil now so you can see the finished design and my hands not look ashy. What are your thoughts? First set of Valentine's Day nails ever. I love this metallic shine. I don't like because I did, I top coated them at different times. They're actually different colors, but I will definitely use this polish again because it was bomb. What are your guys' thoughts on these nails? They're giving me 90s vibes. Now the problem with these nails <laughs> is as long and as curved as they are, I can actually type with them, but I cannot text. So these have to go. And they're so super thick, I can barely even get them in my nail clippers. As you can see, these bad boys are thick. I decided since I'm still gonna use poly gel for this set, I didn't cut them all the way off and take them all the way off. I just clipped off the thick ends, filed down the tops, filed down the nail bed, and now I'm gonna add poly gel on the tips of using nail forms and we're gonna pat that in place to create the next set. The tricky part here, since I'm not just putting it on my natural nail, is getting, blending the new poly gel with the poly gel that I cut off because you don't wanna make it too thin in that area and now my nail is breaking. Nobody wants that. So I had to make sure that I blended the new poly gel in with the old. And here we are. Of course, I just slapped this stuff on here. Not gonna lie, there was, there was not a lot of, of finesse when putting it on. <laughs> And now after clipping off those weird jagged little tips, let's start filing. This is the results after I finished filing. Much better. Now we're gonna top these with some base coat and watch me work again. Sorry about this part. I thought I was in frame, but I was not. But as you can see here, I drew a heart using the same mood polish on the pink nails. Now I'm going to add my cuticle oil. Moisturize these hands. So this is the finished result. You guys let me know what you think. Did you prefer my first Valentine's Day set, what I call my 90s nails, or did you prefer the second set? Um, I don't know what to call them. Maybe like 
the heart set since there was a heart in there we'll call that that did you like the 90s set or the heart set you guys comment below also make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already i have much more content coming soon you guys make sure that you follow me all over social media until next time mwah.